right, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Ugh. Let's take a look at what's going on. <laughs> Uh, this morning was cold, 12 below in Superior. They had a wind chill of about 25 below. Uh, we were five above in Milwaukee, zero in Madison. Now, temperatures have rebounded nicely, especially up north. They're in the single digits above. It's 12 in Rhinelander, 13 in Green Bay and Madison. Now, we have this sunshine. It is great. Uh, we will have the sun for the rest of the day. The sun sets at 517. But the clouds are back off to the west. And you notice there are some snow showers embedded in that. This is moving to the southeast, so the bulk of this will miss us as expected to the south. They'll see an inch or two of accumulation in Iowa, northern Missouri, and parts of Illinois. For us, we'll see some clouds and some flurries overnight. If you were watching this morning, I thought maybe, maybe a dusting of snow. I'm taking that out. Now it's just basically going to be some flurries out there. You can see temperatures have warmed up into the teens. Not a big warm up from the morning. Low temperatures in the single digits, despite all the sunshine. The sun not having any factor whatsoever, except for putting a smile on your face. The wind chills are in the single digits, except for a couple of spots. West Bend and Madison, they're much warmer because they have a calm wind at this hour. Otherwise, they'd be seeing wind chills near zero as well. 15 in Tosa, Greendale, Franklin's at 15. 16 in South Milwaukee and 15 at this hour in Shorewood. For the rest of the day around Milwaukee, we'll be right at 18 degrees. So about another two or three degrees will warm up. The sunshine is out. The northwest winds at 5 to 10. Wind chills will be in the single digits. Here's the future forecast. You can watch those clouds start to roll in here sometime after 10, 11 o'clock tonight. And as I mentioned, we'll see a few flurries at best. The winds will stay relatively light as well, between 5 and 10, maybe up to 15 miles per hour. But wind chills will get in the morning are going to be 5 to 10 below zero. During the day tomorrow, gusty northwest winds. We will see some gusts approaching 30 miles per hour behind another cold front. So this is how it sets up for the next 24 hours. Tonight, we're back into the single digits and the teens with the cloud cover. Winds are westerly at 5 to 15. As I mentioned, wind chills will be anywhere from 5 to about 10, maybe even 12 below zero by morning. We're getting kind of used to that. No, we're not. Temperatures tomorrow back into the teens. We may get close to 20 here in Milwaukee, Racine, and Kenosha. A little bit more cloud cover. The big difference from today, look at the wind, 15 to 30. So even though it's going to be about the same temperature as today, it will feel much colder. We're talking probably below zero all day long. Sunny and cold today, 18 degrees with wind chills of around zero to five above. And then for tonight, we'll have those flurries, maybe an occasional light snow shower along the state line, uh, but basically just flurries, a temperature of nine with wind chills of five to 10 below zero. Here's your seven day forecast, 18 today and tomorrow. And then as we've been saying all week, Saturday morning is the coldest. We will get to one below here in Milwaukee, probably six or seven below inland and wind chills in the morning will be about 20 below. Good day to sleep in. Eight degrees by afternoon, despite the sunshine and wind chills 10 below all day. About one to maybe two inches of snow during the day on Sunday, a high of 21. And then we start to warm up. We'll actually get above freezing by Tuesday. There'll be some flurries Tuesday and Wednesday. And looking out even further, not to get your hopes up, we could see 40 a week from today. Whew, 40. <laughs> That's going to feel amazing. Yes, it yeah. will. Thanks, Brian. <laughs>